Entering timesheets into KeyPay is very straightforward. Up here you have your list of employees for the organisation. You can choose if you want week ending or fortnight ending depending on how your payroll is set up. And this one here shows your pay period ending date. We also have the option to hide or show the timesheet cost as well, which could be useful for you as you're entering the timesheets. Pretty straightforward. Enter the start time and the finish time. Bring up the unit total. You can also enter in breaks if they were taken during this shift as well. You have the option to add a location if the employee worked in a specific area of the business. Um, you've also got option to uh, select work types if the employee has done a certain role or duty in that shift. Just need to go through and add the timesheet for the remainder of the week. If your employee um, works a regular shift um, on a daily basis, there is a shortcut you can do. Just highlight that line, drag it down, and it's been replicated for those other days as well. Once you're happy with that, you can save. And it shows that the timesheet has been submitted ready for the timesheet approver to approve it. You can still make changes. You can delete the timesheet. You can also clear them all for the whole week. If you need to do a split shift, for example, the employee works in the morning and then later uh, again in the evening, you can add a, another timesheet line here. Select the date that you want that to apply to. And then you just simply need to add the second shift of the day. If your employee does these same shifts on a regular basis, a nice shortcut, copy the time sheets from the last week and you're already in there, ready to save. So, try it yourself.